Hi, my name is Anya Laguna and this is my Baroque Rococo and Neoclassical vlog. The background music I added is one of my favorites from back, Cello Suit No. 1 in G Major. Every time I hear it, I feel calm and I think of a connection to romance and love. When looking at both Rococo and Neoclassical eras, we can spot similarities and differences about each. They both are able to emphasize culture, political condition, and social condition in its theme. Both find the importance of color enhancing their elements, as well as having heavy ornamentation. Lastly, both keep its artistic value using decorative features, such as paintings and sculpture for Rococo and statues for Neoclassicism. The differences, however, is Rococo having light-hearted whimsical style of decoration, while Neoclassicism portrays courage, sacrifice, and nationalism and tradition. Rococo evolved from the Baroque period, so they share common elements such as featuring their artwork in more realistic depictions unlike heroic battles or religious figures in Neoclassical. Rococo coming from the word Rocaio, meaning show work, says a lot about its theme of love and intimacy. Now for my favorite. La Bouffe Mansion and Il Jesu contain in common elements such as pinnacle attached to curved broken pediment, cornice, dentals, two engaged pilasters, and volleys supporting the balcony. Cogsworth the clock from Beauty and the Beast even throws in a little joke in the film when he says if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. The real life animation inspired all around by Baroque and Rococo architecture. It is such a beautiful and detailed film. The shell-like decoration elements are clearly seen in the animation picture while entering the ballroom. It's incredible how Disney incorporates Rococo art in their films, like we see in Frozen when Anna jumps into the same position as the woman in the swing painted by Jean Fragonard. In Mirror Mirror, we see a heavy ornamentation but delicate features in the ballroom all surrounding a romantic environment. The production designer from the movie Cinderella says, I was particularly drawn to the magical opulent feel of the Baroque period. I set out to create a world that is based in historical realism but mixed with fantasy as I wanted the atmosphere to be both believable and fantastic at the same time. Thank you.